Tree Lounge Hunting with Traditions 32 Caliber Squirrel Rifle Kit Gun. William Hopi Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, but we take squirrels too. It's August the 16th today, and we're now going to be engaged with our first hunt with our tree lounge tree stand, and that's going to be for squirrels. Yep, bushy tails. We've got our newly built squirrel rifle here, the Crockett, and so we're going to use this. So, need to get all this stuff up the tree. And we have our hoist for our gun. You do not want to have your gun on that rack when you pull it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and climb the tree, and we're going to be about our work. Bring the other foot in, and you hook them both on your straps like that, and reach down and pull up the stand. Okay. All right. So then you take your feet, pull up, pull up again. Okay. And just continue on up your tree. Up it comes. Young Davy has made its first kill. This was a squirrel up a pine tree, and it was about 20 yards, and it was a headshot right straight through the top of the skull, which of course messed up the head considerably, and that's why I have it covered. But yeah, did just what it's supposed to do. And here's a panorama of the view from my hunting stand. As you can see, I'm set up on the corner of a field but as I swing around, you see the woods. And then there's a trail below me. And so, I have good squirrel hunting opportunities here uh, whenever they start moving. We have had very much rain in the southeast this year. And young Davy and I have just got back from a set for squirrels, but we both got pretty well dampened. Now you notice the water beating up on the stock. Now that's where I have it waxed. And also that's what good stock finish does for you. Now looking toward the lock, you'll notice a mule's knee. Now that's a piece of leather and cover that protects your lock in damp weather. And that is certainly something worth having for any muzzle-loading hunter. And you can see my homemade chill pad here and cushion also got pretty well sodden, as well as the rest of my gear. So I'm gonna go and shoot the gun now. Although we did not take this squirrel from the tree lounge, we got it when we came in. So tree lounge has at least seen game. You should know what it's supposed to do now. I've just about given up on trying to take a squirrel from this tree stand. <laughs> the squirrels have not got the casting call. And they have not presented themselves in interesting places for me to shoot them. Nope didn't do that. Uh, we did in fact see a couple of squirrels and they were moving and flitting around in the treetops and I was never able to get the gun on them to get a shot. But we have accomplished what we wanted to do and that is climb this tree about five different times. We found the way we want to position our gear, that is we want our bag up front with us. 
We also found out some interesting things that you want to get to position and then get your gun and then raise it. That way you can get the gun quietly to your shoulder without it going tink against the side of the stand somewhere. Next time we put this stand up, uh, we are going to be after killing some beasts with it. Seriously. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Besides being the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, I also have extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing, and all of these are available as soft cover and ebooks. I also have a new eight book ebook series on muzzleloading guns, including one on building or restoring your own muzzleloader. To date, young Davy has taken two squirrels, both on the walk end of this tree stand. Now, tips for using the stand, including don't move your gun until you're ready to shoot, wrap the gun hoist rope around something so you don't tangle it in your feet. And use the bow hunting attachment for standing up and taking some pressure off your legs. For info on my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website at www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.